I'm usually really excited to come in here. This is like a sacred space to me, and uh, I'm always excited to be painting the picture I'm painting. Sometimes I carry the picture around what I want to do the night before. Sometimes I can't sleep. I'll be thinking, what's wrong? What do I need to do? What do I need to adjust it? How do I need to change it? But I'm always excited. I'm always in a good mood. I love it in here. I, could paint, I paint in here sometimes every day for months. In a studio nestled among the green landscape of the Texas Hill Country, artist Drew Lawrence stokes the flames of a burning desire to create. I have no specific style. I like a lot of color and a lot of contrast. So it's hard to pin a style. I like to paint pictures that people can look at it and see that it's something. I do like bright colors, yes I do. And I haven't yet painted with many subdued colors. I like happy colors. I've always painted art as tight, painted a picture, draw a picture, spend a lot of time on the picture. And I have that hanging in my house that kind of work, except for this piece right here, which is hanging in my living room. And a lot of times when people come over, they're drawn to this picture and they really flip out over it. They go, this picture is great. Well, the artist that did this, did this here at my studio in about 15 minutes and uh, I've had many compliments on it, and this is the artist. She's three and a half years old, my granddaughter, and this is my most prized painting. I watched her paint that picture that day, and it, it really was amazing. She had her elbows in there, she was laughing, she was happy, she was using no theory, no drawing, she just painted, and I thought, this is amazing. This is a, a state of mind that I really would like to paint it and, and paint that free. So I thought, I never gave much uh, thought to abstract painting, and I thought, well, I can do this. So I would put up a canvas and I would start to, to try to get that free and immediately my thinking, drawing, compo composing mind would come in and ruin it. I mean, I, I, would, I couldn't make a free line. It was just amazing, because I've painted so tight. And I thought, this is ridiculous. I ought to be able to paint like a three-year-old, but I could. So the way I came up to do that is, through the years, since 1984, I've done a thing called a fire walk. And I fast three days of the fire walk. And the purpose of the fire walk and the fasting is to loosen that intellectual part of your mind that plans everything. I can't say we can't live without it. We need it. But that free, spontaneous side in this is a little bit harder to reach. So three days of fasting starts loosening that hold. After a fire walk, I have this tremendous freedom. So I wanted to put this together and see if I could use that state of mind and go right up to some canvases and immediately paint in the state of mind that I will be in immediately following the fire walk. I got enough wood for three fire walks. After three days of fasting, I'm getting pretty lightheaded. Seems word has gotten out about Drew's offbeat stroll through hot coals, all for the sake of abstract art. Well, it's a far cry from your average wine and cheese artist gallery get together. I'm going from the fire walk right up to the canvases and I'll have people moving them. So I'm gonna be trying to paint faster than I can think. We'll see if it works. Looky who's here. Come here, give me a hug. Hello. Oh, how are you doing? Now that the young artist who originally inspired Drew has arrived, the ritual can begin. They've been done from Mayan priests to Hindus to Buddhist monks, people they've walked on coals. It's probably been going on thousands of years. 
I had some friends of mine who offered to let me come out and do the fire walk at their place. And he said, well, could I bring a few people? And then, can we have some other friends? And of course, then my girlfriend, she wanted to bring some people. And then people wanted to bring people. And then some yoga class heard about it. The yoga people wanted to come and watch. And hopefully this isn't the one time I get burned. <laughs> you know, this isn't a solemn event. It's kind of a crazy event. further edge of abstraction is probably one of the most abstract things you can do because it's just spontaneous, immediate, no thought, it's boom, it's over. It. At a blistering pace, one by one, the canvases come. And in a matter of minutes, the final brush stroke is complete. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Suddenly out of the darkness, in tears, a tiny artist is overcome with emotion. What's the matter, sweetheart? I'm OK. It didn't hurt. I'm fine. In a most unlikely studio exactly. under the stars, yeah. Art lovers hover over abstract wonders, strokes of paint following a stroll through burning embers, all in the name of abstract art. We should all try to find that three and a half year old in us, at least in a creative sense, when we're being creative, no matter how hard it is to get there.